You guys, what are we making today? Bath bombs! <laughs> well, are you sure? Yeah! But what kind of bath bombs? Bath bombs that have toys in them. <gasps> okay, well here's the thing. We are gonna make so many bath bombs today and they are each gonna have a special toy surprising them because for some reason, my kids are addicted to the bath bombs with toys in them. It's totally not my fault. I actually love bath bombs too. So bath bombs can get a little bit expensive, especially if you have three kids. Uh, so today we're gonna be making them ourselves and they're more cost effective. It's a great experience and activity for the kids. And I'm so grateful that these two are here to help me today. This is my big girl, Ava, and this is Hadley. And um, do you guys like bath bombs? Yeah. Like really like them? Yes. <laughs> Do you like bath bombs? Yeah! Okay, so are you ready to make some? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So first we're gonna go over the supplies that we need to make the bath bombs. And really, it's only made up of citric acid and good old baking soda. And I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to brambleberry.com. They're where I get all of my DIY beauty supplies. They're fantastic quality, great prices fast shipping, their customer service is excellent, and their recipes are fantastic. This recipe that I'm gonna share is a two-in-one recipe. So it's two parts baking soda to one part citric acid. And then there's other little things that we're gonna add today. One of them is polysorbate 80. This, we're adding just a tiny bit of it, but this really helps to fight the ring around the bath, and it helps to emulsify the oils into the water during your bath bomb experience. We've also got fragrance oil, and today we're using cotton candy and coconut cream. Should we smell these? This is cotton candy. Oh, it does smell good. How about this? You want to smell this one? What does that smell like? Bath bomb. Oh! <laughs> so then we also have the extract that we're putting in these bath bombs is aloe extract. It's a super nice skin-loving extract that, um, <laughs> that's gonna be really good for the kids uh, just to add a little bit of moisture to their skin. So the last supply that goes into the bath bombs is this witch hazel. Now we live in Southern California and it's super dry here, so we might use a little bit more in our recipe than you would in your wherever you live. If it's um, warmer or more humid where you are, you might not need any of this witch hazel. Now this is, it has almost no water in it and water sets the bath bombs off. So you just wanna make sure that your witch hazel is about 99% witch hazel um, and maybe only 1% water. So for the color of these bath bombs, we're gonna be using mica, which is essentially what's in your eyeshadow. Um, it comes in a jar like this, but to make it easy to add to the bath bombs, especially for these guys, I got empty spice shakers and put the mica in here so that we can just add a little bit and mix as we go. So we've got our mica colors and then we have our bath bomb molds. These are bath bomb disc molds. Now with the recipe that I'm sharing, you can get seven bath bombs from each batch. So today we're gonna be making two batches and these actually do triple duty. So not only are they the molds for the bath bomb, but they also get to be stored in here and then once used, you can keep reusing them. It's fantastic. When it comes to the other stuff that you need, you'll need a couple mixing bowls. A sifter is really nice. I've also got these um, pipettes, a kitchen scale, and a couple spoons. Are you guys ready to get started? Yes! Okay, so first up, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn my scale on here and we're gonna add the baking soda into our mixing bowl. Now in this recipe, like I said, it's two parts baking soda to one part citric acid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one pound of baking soda to eight ounces of citric acid. So eight ounces of citric acid. Next up, aloe extract. This is super nice for our skin and in this recipe we're using one ounce. You can use an ounce of any skin loving extract or nice oil or anything, gentle mixing. Now it's only one ounce and this is already one ounce so I don't have to measure at all which is very nice. Can you put my butterfly in? Not yet, Sissy. Okay. okay, can you keep mixing? So for the fragrance oil we're going to do 0.6 of an ounce and for you soapers out there that might seem like a lot but when the bath bomb 
is in the water of the bath, it's super diluted, and that's gonna be about six full uh, pipette droppers. So Hadley, you got coconut cream, and Ava, you're getting cotton candy. If you guys are making these on your kitchen table or anywhere that you have water, make sure that um, no water is anywhere close to these because water, like in the bath, will set off the bath bombs. So we've got our last little thing to add here, and this is just the polysorbate 80. I know that it's basically just a little bit of a little, little dash here like that. Little dash for you. So we're just mix, mix, mixing to make sure that all of those oils get fully incorporated into the mix. Now we get to divide these into the containers because we're doing six colors. We're doing white, purple, blue, turquoise, pink, and yellow. What color are you gonna do? I'm gonna do turquoise because duh. What color are you gonna do? Uh, yellow. Yellow. All right, so now we have six bowls and five colors. We're gonna leave one white and that really helps. Um, it really like makes the other color stand out. So Hadley, can you put some in there? So we've got, they're not gonna be a big amount and mind you, we did two batches. So we're gonna in total make 14 bath bombs. I'm gonna show you girls what it's gonna look like first and then you get to add your color in. Now these little shakers work super great to add the mica into the bath bomb mixture. The only thing I want to mention is that it's super easy to keep adding color, but it's not easy to remove color. So if you're color sensitive, like I am, you might want to just do a little bit at first, something like that, and then mix and then see if you're happy with it. If you're not, just keep adding more color until you're happy. Okay, now mix it up. Now I want to do... No, mix it up. Go mix it. We're not gonna do we're not gonna do turquoise in the same bowl, silly. Okay. Very good. What do you think? More? Or are you happy with that color? Happy? She's happy with her pink. You happy with your purple? Yes. Here's our purple. Looking cute. So while they're mixing, I'm gonna talk about the witch hazel. So I'm gonna start off with eight sprays in mine because I know that it's gonna take at least that to get it to the right clumping mixture. What you're looking for is the texture of pie crust, but if you've never baked a pie, what does that mean? That means that it's holding together a really nice shape after you squeeze it. So you can see that this bowl is ready, and now I'm gonna go around and make sure that the rest are ready too. Now is the best part. Now we get to actually fill the bath bomb molds. So we've got these tiny little toys. These are um, from Safari LTD. They're called, I think, Magic, uh, Pocket Magic Helpers or something like that. They'll be linked. And they come in just fun little themes. So we've got ocean ones and dragons and Safari and all kinds of stuff. So what we're gonna do first, keep in mind that the bottom of the bath bomb will become the top of your bath bomb. So I'm gonna do some turquoise some white and some yellow in my bath bomb mold that I'm gonna push down really hard. Okay, which, and, oh, I'm gonna do dinosaur first. Dinosaurs are my favorite. I'm gonna put this brontosaurus right in there. And then I'm gonna go back and fill some more. And we're gonna push it down and I mean, that's really all there is to it. So there's a little lip right here that you wanna keep clean. And so we're just gonna wipe the bath bomb out of there and then put the top on. And that's it. And there's our bath bomb. Toys inside and everything. So what you're gonna want to do is make sure that this sits for 24 hours or at least overnight before you actually put it into your bath. Okay, go ahead, fill them up. Fill them up, fill them up. Okay, we will fill them up. Okay, now remember, do you wanna do multiple colors? Yeah. Ooh, that one's so pretty. I love the purple and the pink and the turquoise. Oh, you have room for more. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make one like that. What was that, purple, pink, and turquoise? Okay, um, I'm trying to tell you to make it. Okay, tell me. Um, well, you, um... Do I mix it? You put all the colors in there, okay. and then you just stick your finger in and just fill it in. 
and in circles like and like yeah like and this? you have to move to reach it all the way to the bottom. Okay. And then after a while you'll see um tiny chunks little everywhere, just like mine. Oh. So the great thing about cleaning this up is it, uh, I mean, it requires literally almost no cleanup. You basically just rinse your bowls and that's it. But guess what I did for you guys? What, what? I made bath bombs a couple days ago so that they could set some off in a bowl right here so we can show everybody what happens. Wanna do it? Mm -hmm. okay. So Ava's gonna do hers in this one. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, open it up. We gotta pop it out so we just turn it upside down and go. Oh, show the camera the, how pretty it is. Don't pull it apart. Super cute. Okay, go ahead, Sissy. Oh, do you want to hold it? Yes. Okay, go ahead, give me it. What do you think is going to be inside of it? I have no idea. It's so pretty. What does it smell like? Oh, something's in there. That's great. Something's in there. Mine will look kind of... I wonder what yours is. I don't know. No. The mica doesn't stay in your bathtub. Um, yeah. But if you have a dirty bathtub, yeah. it might kind of... Ah! <laughs> That's okay, let it go. What is it? Oh, no. we're going to have to find it. Oh, it's an eagle. I love eagles. Eagles! It's so totally melting! <laughs> these end up making bath time super fun in our house. And, uh, you know, any time that you Ooh, need uh, something to Ava, do, it's, it's like, bath it's time. It's whipping! <laughs> like, oh, Mama. Don't worry, but I know. We're going to take care of it. Baking soda uh, and water make this crazy how, mess. How come this doesn't happen in our bath? Well, because we have a lot more water, so it's a little bit more diluted. Please let us do it again. <laughs> well, Adley's gonna do hers. Are you ready to do the bath bomb? Okay, hold your hands out so I can pop it into your hands. It's super easy to unmold these. You just kind of pop it. There it is. Okay, sh show everybody. Ah! <gasps> Whoa, sissy! Look at all that fuzz. Whoa! It's gonna get even puffier and puffier until it <laughs> until it explodes. Mm -hmm. What's gonna be in yours? Let's see. He's gonna go swimming. Maybe when it's done. Oh, <gasps> look how big it's getting, Adley! Right there. Oh, you're gonna break it apart. <gasps> what is it? Wash it off. Is it a dinosaur? Oh, a triceratops. There you go, Sissy. Thank you. I didn't put that in there. No, I'm you didn't put that swimming. in there. I, you want to go swimming? Go for it. Swimming. Ah! What about your eagle? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you two, I think it's bath time. I think it's time for you to scoot. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So now after all of that craziness, we have a bunch of awesome bath bombs that I know are going to make bath time more fun in my house. But the recipe I shared can be used for any bath bomb. I even used the same recipe, but replaced the fragrance oil with essential oil and didn't put toys inside, but I put French gray sea salt in for me. So now mom is looking forward to bath time too. I hope that this video inspired you to make something fun with your kids and hopefully it will make bath time more fun in your house too. Happy crafting.